Today, we'll cover a handful of tips and tricks for identifying breaks and tears in spray foam machine hoses. It's often discerned that there's a problem when an EO3 or no hose current appears on the machine. We'll be using a voltage ohm meter to establish which section of our hose has the problem. The first step is to establish if the problem is with the machine or within the hose. This can be done by disconnecting the black electrical lines from the machine that lead to the hose. If the complete circuit exists on the hose, it can be assumed that the problem is within the machine. If the line set shows an open line and that the circuit is not complete, we'll begin trying to figure out which 50-foot section of hose has the issue. A typical hose can be 250 to 300 feet long, but it's the 50-foot section closest to the installer that is most susceptible to a break. To begin, turn off your machine. Next, move back 60 feet from the gun. Lift up the scuff guard to reveal the wiring. Expose and disconnect the electrical fittings using an Allen wrench key. Then using your ohm meter, check for a complete circuit going towards the gun. If the line comes up open, then the problem is within that 60-foot section. If you have a complete circuit, put the line set back together, move the additional 50 feet, pull back the scuff guard 110 feet from the gun, and repeat the earlier steps. If an open line is found, the new 50-foot section is where the problem is. If not, move back an additional 50 feet. These steps are repeated until which time the circuit goes open. As soon as the circuit shows an open line using your voltage and ohm meter, that's the 50-foot section with the problem. The 50-foot section exhibiting the issue must be discarded and replaced. For additional tips and tricks, contact your JM Field Technical Representative or visit JM.com.